let's remake Ilo Milo with Billie Eilish in one hour. This is a full stream, so I've left timestamps down below so you can click through the video in whichever way you want. There's even a mixing section, which isn't in the shorter video. And I've also left a download link to this Logic Pro X file in the description below. <laughs> I'm so tempted to wear a hat. Okay. <laughs> Stopwatch ready. <sighs> Deep breaths. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> go. Go. Okay, now it's working. Super. Okay, let's start off with a synth that has a repeated 16th notes. <laughs> that plays a lot of the time, but not all the time. So I'm going to use... Let's use a retro synth. Let's see if I can get some sort of... It might Maybe some nice... <laughs> That's way too much. Jumping presets can be a quick way to get close, and then we'll just edit the synth from there. I tell you what, let me. I'm <laughs> funk is definitely not gonna be right. Interesting. Let me go with this, right? So, <laughs> bear with me for a second. Bear with me. <laughs> I'm losing. I'm losing. I'm losing track of you guys. You keep, keep, keep going. <laughs> um. Okay. So let me record it in. So what happens is it kind of follows the chords. Okay, <laughs> that sounds mad. So what we have to do is, which is the absolute key I think for this track, it's one plugin from Sound Toys, which I'm going to use. That's going to be pretty much the solve of everything. It's called Filter Freak. Filter Freak 2. And there's a preset called Distorted 16th. It's rhythmic, Distorted 16th. I've used this a lot on my own tracks, so <laughs> I'm hoping it will do the job. So but I need to cut out some of the high end because it's way, it's not that rattly. I'm going to leave some space for the sub bass to come in and whack us in the low end. Where did you go? I should know, but it's... Okay, interesting. <laughs> Not ideal. It's got a lot of release. Let me get rid of that release. Okay, let's find a better sound. <laughs> this is not going well. <laughs> Sins are very baffling to me. <laughs> That's so cool. That sounds weird. Okay, I just can't hang it all the low octaves. Although I'm tempted to go. Let me listen to it one more time. Gee, it could even be a really gentle sis, like it's like a really gentle just sine wave. Let me just check out. Uh, let me just open up the sampler really quickly. We'll go with stereo, and it has. Oops. Even something like this, and then, so that's a sine wave from the sampler. If we throw this down the octave, it could even nearly do the job we want. Oh, wow. <laughs> Not quite. Oh, I keep pressing the wrong buttons, I'm sorry. Yeah, Retro Synth is so good, Curtis. You're right. I love it so much. 
Oh, I've never used that preset before. <laughs> I don't know which one you're talking about. I've jumped around so much. But yeah, Sandra, the, this this uh, sampler. Uh, sorry, what am I, what am I pressing? It's a sampler when you open it up is just a sine wave. <laughs> it's just this nice little. That's not a sine wave. <laughs> you lied to me. <laughs> Looks more like a saw wave. That's a triangle. Here we go. Something nice and tasty, gentle. <laughs> Let's get any active. Cool. And then I want to throw some distortion on that, but I might actually bust it out. Will I? We'll give it a bit of grunge first and we'll see how that goes. So I'm going to go Sound Toys, Decapitator. Yeah, and just clicks there because of the release time is too fast. Oops, keep pressing the wrong button. So if you just make the release a little bit longer, we'll be okay. A little bit longer. There we go, a bit better. Jacob Collar used Retro Synth, one of my favorite tracks from his latest album. Ah, I tell you. And if Jacob Collar's using it, you just know it's good. <laughs> he is the man. Oh, sorry, I have to go wake up at 7 a.m. Oh, my Lord. I saw one of a.m. Yeah, you're an hour ahead, aren't you? Thank you, Arsky. <laughs> I'll need it this time around. <laughs> Sleep well, man. Appreciate you hanging out. And yeah, best luck with all the producing. And the reggae, let me know how it goes. I'm really interested to hear how it goes. Or it sounds at the end. I need more distortion on this. Let me crank this up. How's this? Yeah, see that's too so that's too sin uh, too sub bass. Cool, and then we'll just take out some of the high high frequencies then. Cool. <laughs> I'll fix that up soon. It's cool. It's interesting. It's got something there. Gee, it really looks like I'm very, uh, what would you call it? Not in focus. <laughs> and Andre Eggers, uh, thank you. Uh, when I've gotten some send you a oh, rhythm on Discord, sweet. Please do. Yeah, please do. Catch the next one, man. Uh, sorry, I've missed so many of your comments. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, God, I'm like in two worlds here. Okay, so there's our 16 rhythm. 16 rhythm let's go for like that toy sound ballerina box thing <laughs> the closest thing I think I might have is kalimba let's go for a kalimba go into the logic sounds search kalimba I've got lots of cool sounds here yeah Kind of. <laughs> Hopefully that'll work. Okay, so it pretty much follows the mel main melody. Let me listen to that. Oh, it it's some it's, it sounds yeah. Yeah, I think that's what it is. So, uh, you'll come home. <laughs> then there's a good da da da. 
then. Cool, and it doesn't do that next bit. Okay. Kalimba time. <laughs> I'm gonna mute the sine wave for a second so it doesn't get in our way. Uh, count in. I think that's it. I'm gonna quantize those just a little bit, just because I'm, I'm a bit of latency. <laughs> that's that's my uh, that's my get out of jail card. Okay, uh, let's see if the velocities are okay. We'll leave them there for a second. Let's throw in lots of reverb. I might actually put like an, a dotted eight note delay would be really sweet with this. What is the chroma verb doing? Decay. Okay. Let me not actually mute that. I'm just going to get rid of that bus. And we're going to get a dotted eight note delay bus. I feel like I have one. There you go, bus 14. Dotted eight note delay because that has a dotted. That would be 16s. Let me just have a listen to it. Something kind of cool about that, isn't it? If you make this one fully wet and then we can turn it down here. Yeah, we're not really going for that vibe. Let's just go for straight 16th uh, no delay. 32 delay. How will that sound? So that 32 is nearly like a slapback delay. It kind of adds an interesting texture, nearly like a thickness to the original sound. Yeah, Curtis, sounds legit. Yeah, that, I tell you, delays are key. Let me let me just have a listen to the dot no, eight note delay as well as the 16, or to the, <laughs> what was that last night? It's dot eight note, dot eight note, and we have a 32, of course, slapback achieved my memory. I tell you what I'm tempted to do. I have a side chain reverb, which is side chain to the lead vocal. So anytime the lead vocal sings, the reverb's turned down. When the reverb when the lead vocal stops, the reverb explodes. I'm tempted to use that on the Kalimba. We might do it in a mixing stage, but let, right now let's leave that out. Does the post chorus have uh, that? It does, but it's really hush. So I so disclaimer, I'm actually doing a chorus and post chorus, which happen together once in the piece. But I'm taking the second chorus and I'm taking the second post chorus, which ha there's actually a bridge that happens in between them. But I think it's mo more beneficial for me to break down those two sections, which have way more sounds because they have the same sounds as the first chorus and pre chorus and post chorus, but with more on top. <laughs> so we'll break down more things, if that makes sense. I just think it's way more beneficial. You'll hear more sounds. There's no point just doing the first chorus because you won't see the force of the floor drum, say. Then. Oh, it does the same again here. Oh, and then there's an extra one here. Where did, where did my, my iTunes keeps closing? And then at the end of the post chorus, there's also a bum, 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 bum. Ooh, sevens. Uh, let me just have a listen one more time. I didn't quite catch it that time. We have a... Bum, 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 bum. That's what it is. Let's record that in. Da, 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 da. Da, two, three, four, one, da, 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 da. So much syncopation in this track, it's insane. They do the same thing as like a major seventh, uh, both times around. 
<laughs> that's so that's so wrong. Sorry, let me try that again. Dum, dum, dum. I, th I think this is right. Let me record it in and we'll see. So we start with a... It's, it's basically an F minor arpeggio with a major seventh. And then we have a C minor arpeggio with a major seventh. Three, four, one. <laughs> the beautiful thing is it's MIDI, so we can just edit it all. Sounds amazing. Three, four, one. Yeah. Okay. I apologize. I'm going to fix the velocity for those ones. Fix velocity. Okay, let me quantize those properly. Three, four, one. Okay, and I'm just going to grab all their velocities and turn it up way more because it is kind of a little bit more prominent here. Also, I'm tempted to put them, are they down an octave? pretty darn sure that's correct all right and there is <laughs> and there's our kalimba more specifically african kalimba which is sort of like our ballerina box sixteen minutes thirty seconds I never actually said the hot time it was after the last thing I should have done that oops mistakes were made um okay Let's take these off if you copy this. So we've done a 16 note. Lovely. We've done a kalimba. Beautiful. Ooh, the synth slide. So this is a syncopated note with a glide. <laughs> so let's open up uh, Retro Synth. We'll go to the preset. Cheerful melody. And what I want to put in is glide this beautiful thing here. Turn that on. Some glide. So what happens is when you change note, it will glide to that note. <laughs> so if you're a big fan of Tom Mishk, you need yourself some glide. <laughs> well, he, he got inspired by like, I'm pretty sure it's like hip hop uh, back in the 90s, which had a lot of this top line. Snoop Dogg would have had it a lot as well. I think it's actually in Drop It Like It's Hot. It's a ceiling, which are high frequencies that add energy to the piece. But uh, don't, don't, don't worry about that right now. Cheerful melody. And what we're going to do... It follows the chords and plays syncopated notes on the end of each beat. So let's just have a quick listen to catch what the notes are. Are they root notes? Dun, dun. Dun. <laughs> I have way too much glide. Sounds like those hot sirens or horns. Could just use a... Could just use a pitch band as well if you wanted. It's all the same, really. It's just changing the pitch. Okay, let me... Uh, it might be easier to hear in the first chorus. Dun, dun. <laughs> 
Oh. I actually think, think this sounds, sounds really similar. So we're using Cheerful Melody from RetroSynth preset more or less and we've <laughs> looked at the glide but I'm actually preferring the pitch bender a tiny bit more. And so each time we change a diff to a different note we use the pitch bend and we just hold the pitch bend down a tiny bit and then release as we hit the note and then you'll get the glide up to the note you want. Beautiful! <laughs> Let's record that in. I actually need to figure out the notes again. I've kind of I've kind of lost over the notes. I was so amazed by how beautiful it sounded. <laughs> um, so I'm pretty sure it starts an F. Sorry, E flat. Let's go for that. <laughs> Let's record it in. Uh, I'll keep the climb in for the crack. I missed one glide. I need to turn off the metronome. It's do me head in. <laughs> Let's pitch correct those, because I was way out of time a lot of the time. There's my pitch by miss. Yeah, Curtis. I tell you, syncopation is the key to bounce. Like you know, like you know, you have the kick to make people's heads bop down, and you have the syncopation to make people feel like they're going up. So you have the mm cha. Mm. <laughs> it's like a really technical look at <laughs> what bounce is. But Phineas kills it all the time. He is syncopation all the time. It's so good. Yeah, bounce. <laughs> I was gonna say bounce it like it's hot. That's not really what the song is. I need a fix of velocity. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I just need it to be consistent and then I need to make sure this one pitch glides so if we open up if we click on the uh, note sorry the piano roll here press A let's go to our pitch band and you can see here what our pitch bands are and we can notice I missed one here totally <laughs> I was so like uh, so I'm just gonna grab this you saw you're coming with me there we go and you can really refine these then. Very, very nice. So that one's a little bit late. You hear this like... Start from here. <laughs> I was so out of time. I was uh, uh, so bad. I oh, sorry. I oh, sorry. <laughs> and then the other thing I want to do is I just I'm just gonna make sure all of these are the same length because you can hear when they're not the same length, something some we lose something. <laughs> the feel a little bit possibly. So let's just fix note length. Uh, and have this does that. So simple, so genius. Phineas, back at it again. Let's duplicate that across. Actually, no, I'm not even sure if it plays the second time around. Let me have a look. Uh, the post chorus is at one. Fifty-one seconds into the track. Same thing again. Cool. Beautiful. Cool. That's our syncopated synth hit with Cheerful Maddie and Retro Synth after 24 minutes, 39 seconds. I'm not sure how to feel. <laughs> I feel like the vocals are going to take ages. Even though we have Quiva's vocal 
I need to sing in a good bit to really get that. I'm worried. You get the idea. I'll leave that for later. Um, okay. This is my favorite bit. Green tick. Sync with slide. Oh no. Uh, drums. We've got drums left. Oh, sub. Let's run the sub next. And we have a texture synth. Okay. Sub next. Let's just listen to these really quickly. Oh, I should know, but it's cold and I don't want to be lonely. So show me the way home. I can't lose another life. Hurry. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it should be illegal for Phineas to be such an insane producer and also younger than me. <laughs> yeah, younger than me too. Just not fair. He's so good. So, so good. It just shows like practice into your craft. Can't bet. It's the best. So, so good. Let me keep these low frequencies uh, nice and steady. It's the only way to do it. Yeah. Also, it's way more growl, but I'm afraid of putting the growl on the track. So let me just throw it onto my distortion bus. And crank it. Ooh, we have an OTT track as well. OTT is another great free plugin worth checking out. Uh, OTT. Somewhere over the TT. That sounded a little weird. I'm just over realizing. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, there it is. OTT. AT. Uh, OTT. Uh, let's lose the vocal for a second. That low knowing is so for uh, OTT is nice. Yeah, it's such a game changer plugin. Like, uh, so, so good. OTT is basically just a load of dirty distortion. It's great. It's filtering, but like put in... It is over the top. It It's really great at adding just a little crackle. A little bit of that low finest. Uh, similar to, it's pretty much saturation, but over the top saturation. <laughs> Gracias, amigo. Me acuerdo que yo... Oh, Lord. Get all my verbs in here. Te había pedido esa canción. Oh, you've forgotten this song. Pedido, that means to forget, doesn't it? God, I need to practice my Spanish. I remember that you had remembered this song, this song. Oh, no, I need to practice my Spanish. If you could translate it into English, that would be great. <laughs> I said, Thank you, friend. I remember... That you had told me to remember this song. I think that's what it was. Benjamin! Como estas tío? <laughs> Benjamin. Que pasa tío? Todo bien? We should probably keep it English because I don't speak enough Spanish really to, <laughs> to do a full stream in Spanish. I'm sorry. Thank you for being so nice on all the YouTube comments though, man. You're so, so nice. All that positivity. Yeah, I wish I spoke better Spanish and I could respond to you properly in Spanish, but I'm afraid. It's been a while. I lived in Spain for a little bit. Ah, gracias, tío. Eh, ¿De dónde eres? Eh, España? Eh, México? Colombia? <laughs> Colombia. My pronunciation, I have, a, I have an auntie from Mexico and she used to help me with my Spanish. And she'd... Uh, <laughs> I kept saying cuatro wrong. I said like a real Irish, like... Anyway, boring story. Cuatro. I use OTT on my drums, brings out transients, makes me hard. That's a good shout, Curtis. That is a really good shout. Ooh, I must try that. Ah, Chile! One of the places I didn't say, a lot of Argentina. Yo sé, yo sé, yo sé. Chile. Ah, Chile. Uh, footballers uh, como Vidal. <laughs> I can't remember Vidal's first name. Atoro, Atoro Vidal. Y Marcelo Bielsa, estuve manager. Hace 20 años, o más o menos, yo sé, yo no sé. Marcelo Belleza, Marcelo. Marcelo de Argentina. 
Gee, I'm getting all my Spanish practice out here today. Ja, ja, ja. Ja, ja, ja. Ja, ja. Yo sé. Vamos. Vamos, Chile. Vamos, Arturo Vidal. Vámonos. Vamos a ver. Okay. <laughs> You're going to get one be like practicing my Spanish now with you, basically. Oh, I've missed Spanish. It's great crack. Okay. Um, what was I doing? <laughs> what was I doing? <laughs> I don't even remember. Ah. Uh, the sub. Let's put in some sub bass. Okay, my favorite sub. <laughs> so what we got to do is, right? ES1, synthesizer 1, mono for our sub frequencies. Open it up and there's a preset synth bass, sub bass. I need to ch change the pulse width and the pitch and stuff because it, it's not exactly, I need to change that. <laughs> I need to change it. I haven't yet. Where are you from? I'm from Ireland, Republic of Ireland. Uh, it's east, west, west of England, west of England, east of Iceland just beside the Atlantic so small little old country really bad at football <laughs> really bad we used to be good in the 90s not anymore okay so our sub bass is really cool it comes in on like the second beat so it goes one two three four off let me record it in it follows the root notes of the keys of the chords Okay, E flat. No, it's C minor. G, F. Cool. So it goes two, three, four, rest. Three, four, off. Two, three, four, rest. G, three, four, off. Two, three, E minor. Sorry, that was actually F. I played the wrong note. <laughs> I also came in at the wrong time. <laughs> So the synth bass is re sorry, the sub bass is super cool. It comes in on the second beat and comes off on the fourth beat of that bar and then has a bar rest. As we can kind of see here. Super. With low frequencies, especially our low frequencies, maybe, you know, well, we don't really have to blow 20, but 20 to 100, just maybe even higher to know low mids, 100, like 20 to 200, keep them mono, keep them center. We don't want any messing around. Of course, that's a variable. Like in this, uh, not not long then. Oops. Fixed velocity. Of course, at the start of this piece, Finney seems to have a kick or some sort of kick, low frequency rumble. That's quite wide, but because there's very little else, you can kind of get away with it. It's not too disorientating for the leader or listener, even. <laughs> This synth is hurting my ears. The, the the C is really nice, but the G and the F, it just sounds rotten. Sounds so rotten. That G, it's just gross, isn't it, really? There's no getting away from it. Let's just try these any octave and see how it sounds. <laughs> Played the wrong note, I forgot that. Two, three, I'm tempted to bring down some of those highs, but at the same time, I'm not too sure. We'll mix it later. <laughs> okay, there's our sub bass. Uh, give it a red. I'll throw this cheerful melody up beside it because it's kind of similar. Okay, before we put the texture in, let's do some drums. 34 minutes, 17 seconds. I'm getting worried, guys. <laughs> I'm starting to get real worried. Not moving very fast. But with the drums, there should be some hope. We've got a four to the floor with the kick and we've got a snare, clap, on the two and the four. There's also a cool rhythm that happens at the beginning that carries on through this chorus, but with the low end kind of removed. So we'll get onto that in a second. But first the kick and the snare. So splice. Oh, 
Oh, I was meant to get a kick, but I really like the clap. Let me just save that for later. <laughs> and the kicks, kicks, kicks. That has a really nice rattle off it. That graze is kind of cool. Let me just listen to his kick, her kick. Boom. This DJ Luan one is really cool. Let's just throw it in. Four to the floor. Means a kick on the one. Two. Three. Four. Get our marquee tool. Command or across. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Snares and claps on the two and four. So let's get some nice sounds. On the two. And the four. There's our clap from earlier. Let's get some claps, 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 claps. Wait, is you, are you the guy who I throw in already? Yes, you are. Let's find more. Ooh, Count. The Count is a great man. He's very entertaining on Twitter, I must say. He's got like little uh, short videos that are so useful. Great. Uh, which music plugins do you use the most when making music? Ooh, plugin. All of the sound toy stuff, to be honest. That sound toys bundle is just killer. It's so good. I love all of it. I think. I think that's what I'd say. I just got spliced and there's like <laughs> an overwhelming amount of stuff. Yeah, for sure. It's uh, it's definitely too much until like I just kind of run through it now and then and just, okay, I like those samples. And then I just go to my downloads. Like now I'm under time pressure straight to my downloads and I'll just know there's something I've liked at least at one stage in my life so <laughs> I just run to that but there's so much stuff let me just listen to these really quickly and with our snares and uh, claps really important to put them at different times so it gets that kind of flam effect who doesn't love flam those panned they are pan. Let me get this guy and then copy him across. That sounded really cool, though. Ooh. Excuse me. I just realized. Let me let me just stick with the first beat and then we'll mark you two across. Let me just get one snare to hit a little bit of thump in there. We're just missing all the kicks there, so you can kind of get away with a lot. I do love the count, I must say. As you can probably tell already. Uh, snare B. Snare B. C. Sound toys have plugins. Oh, come on, oh sorry. Um, I feel like they do. Sorry, I was talking about like effects, audio effects. Plugin that I use the most, Moto Bass, probably. Moto Bass is very useful. I just love the real sounding bass. Um... And then else, I use Exhale from Output a lot of the time. Just because I love it, 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 I just use it for texture all the time. It's so nice. Yeah, let's go with this. I kind of like how that sounds. It's a bit reverberated, but uh, I'll fix that in a minute. One, two. So it's on the two and the four. And then Marquee Tool. Command or. And then who's our reverb guy? Oh, yeah, I no. Turn down that reverb just a little bit. Got some issues there with mixing. It's way loud. There's a lot of after sound in that kick. So let me just shorten it. Command fade them all. Mm, 
interesting. <laughs> we'll leave it there for the minute. So that's our kick and snare. Four to the floor for the kick, two and four beats for the snare. Then we have a... Let me take that off. That's always nice to do. 40 minutes, 13 seconds. We're running out of time. <laughs> far, too much, too far too much time. Cool, yeah, yeah. Uh, exhale is one I use a lot. Although it's not that versatile. You could always just sing things in yourself, but it's really fast. Is there anything else I use all the time? I use, you see, I use... I use retro synth all the time, but that's free. Moto bass. I know I only got that like a couple of months ago, but the real bass sounds are just game changing and it's the only synth I ever need. I got it at a half, was it half price? I think it was half price. I waited for the, it was a Black Friday sale, I think. Uh, serums class as well, but I don't use it half as much as I should because I'm always afraid of running out of uh, CPU. <laughs> that's my bad. So the next drums in this happen at the very beginning of the track so you can kind of hear, so it's, one and two and ba da ba da cha 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 ba cha cha and then it gets low cut when it gets to this chorus because that pattern is going the whole way through and to mix it up in the new chorus Phineas goes oh let's keep it interesting oh Phineas and Biddy go let's keep it interesting and so they put in a fourth to the floor and then low cut let the lows of the kick of our new fourth to the floor kick take that low space and then they low cut the old beat but keep it in there so you can kind of feel it somewhere and it's giving a lot of rhythm texture yeah, texture and rhythm giving that sy syncopation feel so the sounds might not be too important because we won't be heard so much but I'm going to open battery get some cool sounds and make that rhythm so let's try and find some sounds what about ES2 alchemy is so good oh, alchemy is amazing ES2 I don't use enough because I kind of spend most of my time in the other sense like sculpture as well uh, but alchemy is ridiculous uh, alchemy like that's why I love logic so much it comes with so many amazing free synths like you don't really need to buy more synths well I suppose maybe bass synths although the Liverpool bass I have it there at the top I love that and um, that's free with logic as well but uh, uh, what do you think Curtis what, what are your what are your favourite ones that are free and then also the ones that you've bought that's always so, sometimes so interesting because you're bound to like we're all bound to have our own little different ones we found that are like oh that's crazy cool or really useful or whatever Okay, let me listen to these. Okay, if I go, if you want to go to the start of Elo Milo. I feel like I'm going to throw in a kick first, just for that low one. Let me go, let me go samples. Uh, this is, con no, sorry, this is battery, battery five, so <laughs> I'm in snare, that's why. It's like, what am I doing? It's got kind of a ring to it, but then I'm just gonna I'm gonna low cut this. Let me just do that now. I, that, that's kind of the jobby. Sorry, I realize if you're from Scotland, jobby means something totally different. Spitfire Labs got me through uh, Indie Game Commission. Nice, Christian Hansen. Christian Hansen, that's the name, isn't it? The guy who owns Spitfire. Next level. All of Labs free stuff is so amazing. I totally agree, Shame, Shame City. Totally agree. Ooh, Expand Tree. I got that with my Alessis and I haven't actually used it yet. But that's really interesting. Okay, I must have a look into it then. Must take a look. Yeah, Expand. I have. Thanks for that shout, Curtis. Appreciate it. Yeah, Retro, retro Synth for sure. ES2. Okay, I must get on my ES2 game, so. So now I need a snare sound for the mba. I keep looking in the wrong place. I'm just hoping I'll find something randomly. It's it's a short. I don't want any flam kind of. Uh, you know, like uh. uh what do you call it? Like a... Oh, what do you call it? The bottom side of a snare. <laughs> wires. Snare wires. Maybe it's a tom. I'm going to change for a tom. Go on.
Something like that. I think, is there, is there more sounds in it? Spitfire, so much CPU, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For sure. Oh, that's, I suppose that's the same with really every... <laughs> I love Tom's. Tom's are key and I don't use them half as much as I should. Oh, there's like a rim there for the third hit. Sorry, I just lost track of what you were saying there because I, sorry. I like this guy. So we've got... Something like that. Let's record it in. And because it's so much in the background, I don't think it's too important, but it, uh, it, it is important. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, let me just let me just listen to these two guys at the same time. Oh, sorry, kick as well. I accidentally muted it there. This is what it sounded like. <laughs> let me quantize. Heavily quantize uh, and fixed velocity. That's Oh, there, there we go. That's our issue. <laughs> that is cool, but it's wrong. Cha, 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 cha. There we go. That needs a little bit more beef. Let me just give it a bit of saturation. Oh, I don't know if saturation or overdrive is right. I'm gonna go with overdrive. It's my gut. It's my gut telling me. That tom is so resonant, isn't it? I want to make it more like muted. Oh no, that's the wrong thing. I'm a bit flossy. Cool. All right. I think that's pretty much what it's doing. <laughs> I hope it's close enough. Mm. Yeah, toms are toms are key, super key. Uh, wait, which te which technique, Curtis? Sorry, I lost I lost my trail of thought there. Or Oh yeah, single potatoes, a hundred percent. Yeah, I think that's a good shout. This, this this is my favorite thing about remakes. Um, <laughs> I get some slack from my friends. They say, "Oh, what you do in making remakes?" But studying the best producers and what they do is such a fantastic, quick way to get better and to improve. You're literally learning from the best if you just analyze what they've done. It's all there in front of us. If you can, if we can break it down, of course. 49 minutes, 18 seconds. 10 minutes to... What do we have to do? Texture synth. Texture synth and vocals. Let's go to that texture synth. So I'm going to open retro synth and we're going to play chords like this. And we're going to record that in. <laughs> Let's go for it. Just following the chords. And you you barely hear it. 
it does pop out now and then when there's not too many sounds happening like at the end of a section so let's just record that in and this is retro synth chill out pad from the pad section chill out pad <laughs> and we can mess with this in a minute here we go let's record it with the cheerful melody and the african kalimba here we go c minor then we go one up to g minor <laughs> then f minor and then c minor okay so i made a few mistakes there so actually there's definitely a quick way of fixing this where you fix the length of all of them at the same time oh the rhythm swing yeah 100 percent ah oh. It's, it's genius. It's super, super genius. Fixed velocity. Fixed note length. Oh, wrong length. Make it two. There you go. Hey! <laughs> There's definitely short keyboard shortcuts for that <laughs> yeah legato is my favorite thing until <laughs> i want to buy a vibrato so with this we're gonna lose <laughs> let me mute this african glim but it's no oh nice This sine wave needs way more crunch. So let's let, let is this is the hmm. Did I did I put distortion on that or did I put overdrive? Yeah. I'm gonna do with the sub bass. I'm gonna bust out a distortion, but I want this distortion to have an octave up. So I could just play it on the pad, but let me just do it with a let me just do it with a bus. So if you jump over here, go we have our new twenty four. Where's twenty four? That was twenty six. Twenty six. Where are you? Twenty six. I'm gonna find twenty five distortion. Copy it across. Oh, I clicked the wrong one. We're going to go up an octave with this bus. So I'm going to go sound toys. We're going to use little altar boy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pitch up. Format for the crack. Give it a bit of drive. Wow, that's too much. Hmm. Yeah, it's quite let me let me see if I bring them to Yeah, it's cool. Should I'm not sure if it should be over overdrive or not. <laughs> so much rattle. Uh yeah, getting somewhere to beat, that's true. <laughs> Finally. It's got us taking a while. Oh, shift plus oh lord. Ah, force legato, shift and back, genius. Thank you so much, James City, that makes sense. Shift and, what's that, where's the back one? Oh, the one on the right there, just play the enter button. I will save that one. Let, let's just have a quick look at that, just, just see. Oh. Round of applause for Shame City, coming in big. If you wanna, if you wanna attach your last note or all your notes whatever notes you want let's say these three and you want to attach them legato force legato and connect them to the next note you go shift and you also go back backslash amazing shout out to shame city for bringing the knowledge that is a game changer right there that is huge thank you so much man that's class sorry i say man is a gender neutral thing i shouldn't do it though but i yeah i don't know i feel like it's habit 
Thank you so much. Really appreciate that. That's so useful. <laughs> bow. You may bow multiple times. That's some good knowledge. Guys, share the one. <laughs> That's amazing. I literally I don't know that. I've been logic for like over 10 years. I don't know that one. I should sit down with a... Yeah, yeah. Another time. We'll mix this afterwards, okay? Yeah, this is the issue because each note has a different kind of resonance to it and it's kind of this is what compression is for of course but <laughs> I feel like I could find a better synth for them but they're okay for the minute alright we've got a texture synth woo alright vocals so luckily we have Quiva oh 55 minutes 50 seconds we've got 4 minutes they're just enough time to save the world only got 4 minutes ah 4 minutes to be uh, Rihanna that was JT, wasn't it? Justin Timberlake? With Timberland. Where did you go? I should know, but it's cold and I don't wanna be lonely, so show me the way home. Just put the speed up there. I can't lose another life. <laughs> Shame City, Filter Freak is next level. Especially this Distorted 16s so is my favorite thing. I use it all the time. Probably too much, but you know, that's how it goes. I know that's not how the vocals go, but... <laughs> DGT or Benjach Benjamin. Gracias. <laughs> I didn't make the plugin though, sadly. If I was to make a plugin, I'd make something like this. Like filter freak. Like just putting weird filters and things. And filters with movement. It's just, it's so, so important. Oh, uh, yeah. Shame City. The Santos bundle was the first bundle I bought after suggestion from my friends who were into film music and their film composers. And uh, they were like, I was like, I need to buy one, guys. And they're like, buy this one. I was like, okay. <laughs> Uh, yeah sure look I think what I'll do let me leave it off on the lead vocal then we'll make another lead vocal which has this guy and we'll turn Filter Freak on Filter Freak does cool things like this Now, a lot of mixing needed on this, but we're getting there with some sort of things. Gee, I just have to realize I've done nothing, and it's <laughs> a minute and 13 seconds left. Woo! What vocals will we do in that meantime? Let's sing. Where am I looking here? <laughs> I'm like, where's the camera? I'm so used to looking at my uh, webcam in my laptop, even though I haven't used it like in maybe a month now, but still, still old habits and die hard. Great movie. Uh, okay, how many? How many? Make a few more. A. B. And we're out of time, probably. <laughs> Ten seconds. Ten seconds, here we go. Let's sing some Harry's in the second half. 
We need a countdown. Was I thinking in the right input? I think it was. <laughs> Is there any volume there at all? Oh, not much. And that's time! Brr, 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 boom. <laughs> okay, a few harmonies and we're finished. Um, yeah! And maybe a quick mix. <laughs> maybe. I think we'll have to do a mix. Let's just have a quick listen to this then. Uh, let's tune. Flex pitch, beautiful. Grab these notes. Command A, grab them all, double click, bring down the vibrato. Hurry, oh, that sound is sounding cool. Oh, sing the whole song. Yeah, that's good. What mic do I have? Good question. This is a SM7B. Sure, it's sure SM7B dynamic microphone. It's great. I got it because I was picking up too much background noise and air fan from my laptop. Uh, it's great. It's super. Beforehand, I was using an AKG. It's a 414, which has slightly better. I like I like it for vocals more if you're in a recording situation, but for live streaming and stuff. Ooh. Ooh. I'll change it. Yeah, I'll show you probably next week when I have proper eye focus tracking. Uh, but it's picking up too much background noise because it's a condenser microphone. So I'd highly recommend the 7MB if there's background noise or uh, not a perfect room for recording. They made Thriller on that shirt. Yeah, 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 yeah. Michael Jackson loved the shore apparently, which is pretty sweet. Yeah, I I love these two microphones. They're great. They sound so good. Sounds so good and look great. <laughs> Always add a bonus, right? If someone comes into your studio, you wanna. Yeah. Let's sing that same vocal again on the other side. Super, super, super. Let's just turn off the filter freak for a second. Let's sing in all these harmonies. What, what's the other harmony? There's another harmony there. No, that's it. I'm worried. Hmm, I think that's okay. I think it's pretty right. Uh, do you have any recommendations for learning vocal chains and such? SM58 this week and want to work out how to get the most out of it. Very good question. Okay. Um, I think a great idea is just looking at different vocal chains of different people and see what they do. Uh, mess around with... So like, like my vocal chain right now, I have lots of... So EQ, two compressors, just little... It's a huge thing. And it's all about messing around with it, but like compression in steps is so it's huge. It's a, a huge game changer as opposed to just compressing w once. It just won't get the same thickness. So a few compressors, maybe two. Uh, we can talk about that for hours. But like even try a com EQ, two compressors, another EQ if you wanted to boost some things or take away some other things, whatever. DS or get rid of the sibilance. Saturator, I love saturator on my vocals because my vocals are real gentle and I don't really like them so much. And then for buses, try some different reverbs. Try a short and long reverb. 
stereoizer so like chorus which is basically detunes and sharpens things and makes them stereo is really nice for thickening a vocal and making a sit out front i think that's a really big tip that i learned from disclosure use chorus i've been using one of the plugins from uh sound toys called little Microshift. i used to put it on the vocal chain here but uh it, it actually made my song sound like they had uh phasing issues and that's basically what it is it does kind of but you want it to be a you know an added thing as opposed to an actual um you don't want it on the chain because it just makes things sound phasey and stupid i had lots of mistakes for long years and then some delays some slapback delays and some interesting rhythmic delays just to add cool rhythms uh after that just like mess around with eqs and compression first and see how you can get it sounding just slightly more present and nice and consistent and then start adding in saturation saturation <laughs> distortion stuff like that reverbs delays and stereo tricks like chorus and that kind of stuff hope that helps those are things that really helped me let me sing more Life. down an octave Hurry, I'm It goes down there. Can I change her vocal? I'm I'll just stick with that for the minute. That's what she sang. I don't want to mess with her vocal too much. Let me just stick to those notes, even though I think it goes down a ton. I think I'm saying I'm hurried. There's a little cut there at the end. Gotta be careful with those. Grab those three. Slide it back. Fade them all. Gorgeous. Oh, Curtis. Uh, cheers, mate. Everyone enjoy the rest of your evening, morning, depending where you are. Oh, sorry. I totally missed that. Sorry, Curtis. Thank you for hanging out, Curtis, if you're still here. I'm so sorry I missed that. Uh, until Shame City replied there. Sorry, that's my bad. Thank you so much for hanging out. I hope you enjoyed and learned something. And thank you for bringing your expertise here. Uh, <laughs> I learned a lot as well. I appreciate it. Uh, let me throw the filter freak on this. Filter freak. Fil filter freak. Go to our rhythmic. Wow. So I need to turn the res resonance to gain of those ones down. So that's not what I want. Resonance frequency. unbelievably distorted <laughs> that's not exactly what I was hoping for not at all I'll tell you that how can I make this clean it must help me help me understand okay let's let's get this vocal on loop and try and Ah, it's the mod wheels way up. That's a bit better, it's a bit cleaner, it's getting all the... 
So what's happening there is I'm actually getting all the frequencies. <laughs> I wonder how he did this. Did he use it? I wonder if he used this. Okay, beautiful. I need to make sure we get rid of the breaths because the breaths are making it sound super weird. Super weird, you're super weirdy. Nope, that was not what I wanted. Command T to cut those. Little fade. Drag them in, little fade. Bit of pre spring, spring cleaning even, sprang, sprang climbing. Ah, there we go. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Now, what happens if I have it just in the main one? Can I make these all clean together? So I want to mix full. The mod, I don't want it to be too big. Uh, I do want to link them. Frequency max up. Resonant. Nice, okay. Cool, I'm learning more about this synth, uh, sorry, effects as we go along. Nice. So I went with sine wave there just because I know sine wave is uh, <laughs> the most calm wave <clears throat> where triangle's pretty pretty sharp. Let's just have a listen actually. Interesting, interesting. So let's let's copy that across. So that's pretty clean. It's pretty pretty clean. So basically, what this is do? It's basically a filter, right? That's uh, <laughs> letting the vocal through and then stopping it, but in a rhythmic thing. So it's the it, same as like volume change. The little issue I have with it is I'm losing some of the very high frequencies. But to be honest, it's up so high. I don't know if it's actually going to make that much of a difference. It's clean but not that clean. Actually, that's because I have Saturn on. There we go. Get rid of your saturation. Nice and tidy. Hello, Billie Eilish. Um, <laughs> AG, I concur. Thank you for hanging out. AG, it's always good to see you. You bring a, you bring a smile to my face. I hope you're keeping well. Yeah, how are things in the East Coast? I always say that when you, when you come in. How are things in the East Coast? East Coast. East Coast. I'm getting tired now. It's uh, ten past one. I've been slowed down. Slowed down, Tommy. <laughs> Let me get the lead vocal, Quiva's vocal as well. <laughs> did I throw one to the wrong one? Oh, I did, yeah. Uh, let's get rid of this. Why do you sound like an electric guitar? That's what I want to know. What have I done? Do I have distortion on you? 19, what are you? Little altar boy, turn that down. I want it to be breathy. 
Hmm, interesting. <laughs> Cool. Let's get rid of that breath. I'm a bit worried about chopping it because I don't want to ruin the vocal. Uh, so I'm just actually going to automate it. I'd usually chop these up, but because I think it's, I think it's warped to just a tiny bit. Think we could do more vocals? Probably could. Let's have a way a listen. Uh, without the vocals for a second. Okay, we have we have the lead vocal. <laughs> I could have put that in from the start. We've got some harmonies. I probably could do more vocals to keep it thicker. Um, an hour and 15 minutes. And that was some time. <laughs> the amount of time. Certainly not mixed yet either, which is a bit of an issue. Uh, let's let's open this up. Uh, so, how does this bass sound? I'm pretty happy with that. I'm not very happy with this sound. I knew that wasn't, it doesn't finish at the right time. Well, these are not quantized at all. Oh, well. What was I doing? Oh, you can tell I'm getting tired now. I'm barely, barely talking at all. Whew. Iowa Kresh, Gramila, thanks for hanging out. Two, three, four. Cool. Got our drums. Extra synth. Put a bit of stereoizer on that. Imaging stereo spread. Dry. Ah, a bit of reverbs. James! Important question how long are you going to be live? I'd say 10 minutes. I'd say 10 minutes max. DGT, oh, that bass line sounds amazing. Ah, sweet, sweet. Yeah, the sub bass sounds great. I'm not sure about the sine wave. I feel like it needs work, but yeah, you're dead right. That sub bass is thick. That's the ES1. ES1 sub bass. It's real nice. Real, real nice. How are you, James? Good to see you, man. Yeah, live probably 10 minutes, I'd say. Just want to get this mixed. I'll do a little dance. And then uh, that'll be the YouTube video finished. And the Twitch finished, of course. Oh, sorry, you got plans. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. I'm so tired, you can visibly see me just go like, uh, <laughs> the... a tiny bit I wonder if I can delay this hopefully it doesn't sound weird 
Streaming hot dump raid on you. But a channel point redemption. I say every day. What what does that mean? Amos, oh, a steaming hot dump of a raid at you with a channel point redemption. Ooh, interesting. Oh man, that's so kind. Thank you. Yeah, if you want to save it for another day when I <laughs> when I have energy. Who who's the streamer? Who's the streamer with the big following? <laughs> Where did you go? That's so sad, man. Thanks. Know, but it's cold and I don't want to be lonely, so show me the way home. I can't lose another life. Yeah, doesn't work so well. Where did you go? I should know, but it's cold and I don't want to be lonely, so show me the way home. I can't lose another life. So I've listened to it so much now. I'm like, whoa, sounds cool. <laughs> I need a, uh, sorry, that's a snare. I need to keep that some. Woo wee. Fat filter data life sausage fanner. Very good. Just a little bit of something, something just to give it. <laughs> I know people. You sure do. You're the man about town. Where did you go? I should know, but it's cold and I don't want to be lonely. So show me the way home. Uh, James, you're some man. I appreciate the thought, man, though. I really appreciate the... Where are you? There you are. I appreciate the thought. Timmy's come back. Maybe we could raid him instead. <laughs> yeah, I can I can raid him for sure. Oh, gee, I haven't actually raided anyone the last few times I've been live. I know how to do that. I'm pretty sure I know how to do that. <laughs> Am I missing sounds? How does this sound? I need to listen to it really quickly. Oh yeah, so really important. There seems to be this bus. I need to put a filter freak on this. I don't have enough of the filter freak on the... I don't have enough of the filter freak. Where did you go? I should know, but it's cold and I don't want to be lonely, so show me the way home. That was the story there, that's not working at all. Where did you go? Oh, that's why. Why is that not working? Oh, is it because there's no... Oh, I'm such an idiot. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, we're getting there now. (laughs) 
Super. Can we do the sign with this guy? Should be able to do it. Should be able to do it, I think. Nice. Need to get some uh, dynamics in this guy. Or rid of dynamics even. Waves. Renaissance compressor. Uh, this is a stereo. Absolutely crushing it. Should just keep it. It is pretty steady. It's just the right or an air. It's the fundamental frequencies are just sound louder. Where did you go? I should know, but it's cold and I don't wanna be lonely. So show me the way home. I can't lose another life. That sounds late, doesn't it? it? Sounds. Where did you go? I should know, but it's cold. Okay, just need to make sure this guy. Yeah, this guy's caused me all the issues. What was the story here? <laughs> yeah, I, I went real gentle on this one. <laughs> <laughs> You're a funny man. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Check it, 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 check it. One. There we go. More time. Yeah, I probably should have sang more vocals to make her vocal really stand out. Where did you go? I should know, but it's cold and I don't wanna be lonely. So show me the way home. I can't lose another life. <laughs> Something like that. Ah, uh, Jamesy. Yeah, I did uh, a lot of work in those vocals. <laughs> oh, God. Ooh, the synth stays in. Super, and that's everything copied across. Copy across our basses, copy across our drums. Nice. Do you have any tips uh, to learn how to compose music? Uh, yes. Arrangement is really important. So knowing like structure, so say, uh, yeah, practice of course, for sure. But like, this <laughs> lol. <laughs> Sandra, thank you so much for managing to get your way the whole way through th through this. If you have any suggestions, let me know. Uh, 
Yeah, Shame City sounds like the, the person to help you out. I would say, but like arrangement, knowing like different sections you can have. So for pop music, it's really important to know you've choruses, verses, pre-choruses, post-choruses, bridges, and the intros, outros, you have different options there. Uh, just to know there's different sections. So you can start with one section and then elaborate. Or say if you're doing film composing, you know, you might have a theme that you're, re- that's a reoccurring thing that you might be coming back to. Um. Or if you're in just classical music. <laughs> know your way around different ways of jumping around different keys. Being diatonic is less. Well, unless you're Ludovico and Audi, you can just stick with your four chord trick as well. But usually there's a bit of more chord key changes. But I'd say arrangement. That's I think that's step one. Arrangement and uh, analyze your favorite uh, pieces. See what arrangement they're in. See what keys they're in. Analyze those keys. See what chords they use. Maybe less of the keys, but more so the chords. That's where I'd start. That's what I thought helped me the most. Let's listen to this for a second. Where did you go? I should know, but it's cold and I don't wanna be lonely. So show me the way home. I can't lose another life. I totally agree with Sandra has it nailed right on the head there honestly analysing scores that you already like and figuring out what you like about them and try to recreate them couldn't agree more couldn't agree more that's exactly it totally totally it is that white noise? I'm so tired now (laughs) where did you go? like close <laughs> thanks to all yeah uh, have you heard Andrew Hong licked off if not I recommend it yeah yeah no I've been checking out man his branding has been so so good for that release it's crazy so good the video the hype the attention on Twitter YouTube man he's so good so so good He did. he's doing a great job he's doing a great job Hey, Tanya, thank you. I hope your dinner was delicious. How was that pasta and salad? That's what I want to know. I'm saying it was better than this. <laughs> I've gotten so tired now. I'm like, what's happening anymore? It needs more vocals. It definitely does. It's not lush. Uh, but it's 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 something. It's something. Uh, <laughs> DGT. Uh, Benjamin, you got your answers there for sure. <laughs> so many answers. Where did you go? I should know, but it's cold and I don't want to be alone. This glimp at the end needs something a little bit different, doesn't it? It just needs something something a little bit... Mm. Maybe tone down the delays. <laughs> more reverb? <laughs> Woo! Always more reverb. That's way too Where did you go? I should know. I 
has lots of low mids that I don't really want so much. Where did you go? I should know, but it's cold and I don't wanna be lonely, so show me the way home. I can't lose another life. Love, love. A little bit longer release on that Klimba. Just a wee bit longer on this last one. Should this one the way home? See the way it says del del delayed the way home should be here. Only the way home. I can lose another It's pretty cool. High production value. Oh, that's that's so nice. Thank you. <laughs> we try our best, James City. We try our best. <laughs> um. Oh, God, I've missed so many messages. Tanya, it was delicious. I am delighted. God, I'd love some pasta and salad myself. If you could send some in the post, how long would it take to get from Montreal to here? A couple hours? <laughs> Definitely not in this climate. Not, not with that river blocked up at Hunt. <laughs> What was the name of that river again? I've totally forgotten already. Ah, oh, you know the one. The meme one. I trans I tried to translate all. Yeah. Benjamin Perez uh uh Google Translate uh Bempure Ayudarte. Ayudarte? You know say. Lo siento. <laughs> I need to practice. <laughs> no Shame City, I need the compliments, please. <laughs> I'm getting delirious. All the all all compliments go to me in this channel. <laughs> I'm joking. Oh lads, I'm delirious. Thank you for complimenting Andrew Huang though. He's he's my best mate. Ah. Let's move on swiftly, shall we? <laughs> Let's put some stereo guys. Stereo effects on these Kalimbas. <laughs> oh, I'm getting delirious. Okay, I need to, I need to, I need, I'm sorry guys, I need to, I need to, I need to finish this really quickly. Here we go. Where did you go? I'm actually liking the elongated stuff, it's kind of cool. It gives a lot more presence. But like in a good way, like not in the way presence. I don't know if that makes any sense. Delay is just making it a bit too clicky. Hey, that one's kind of cool. Yes, yeah, this is 15. Let's just tape delay, turn them down a wee little bit. I want them to explode at the end. Ah, oh, goddamn. We do, we have fun here. We like to have fun. <laughs> do you like fun? Oh, God, lads, that's so funny. That's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, what's well, the deal with him pretending to be in space? See, if I'd read this, I'd know what was going on, lads. Oh, he's a genius. It's just so well done. It's so well done. I'm so impressed. Like, proper planning. Like, it doesn't... Like, uh, <laughs> uh, I for a second thought he was going to go to space. I was like, well, SpaceX can't bring him because they're not ready. Is he going on uh, Blue Shepherd Origins one? Blue Origins one? I don't know. Don't think that's ready for human use. And I was like, wait, maybe it is. Maybe he's going up in Blue Origin. But then, of course, that's not actually going into space. That's just like orbit, you know, that low Earth orbit. Not low Earth orbit, the 
technically in space, but you're just like in a, you're still in orbit. I need to, yeah, listen, I don't know. Words. I feel like this guy needs to be wider as well. Maybe the texture can bring up a little bit. Maybe we need distortion that guy. <laughs> How about OTT? Sweet. I like that ending. I should have done more vocals. Yeah, should have done more vocals. <laughs> well played, sir. Well played to you. Congratulations. <laughs> You've been played. <laughs> Mr. City and Mr. Boxy have had you right up their own way. That doesn't make any sense. Oh. Okay, what time is it? 20 to 2 in the morning, yeah, yeah. James Boxy, you're in the UK. You're on the same time as me. You must be so tired. You must be so, so tired. Okay, guys. Um, I should have recorded my vocals. I don't know why I didn't. If I throw a doubler on it, it will work. <laughs> Let's make one more buzz. And this is going to be our doubler. Everybody likes more vocals. If you don't like vocals, yeah. You're probably not listening to the right vocalists. As the song goes, of course. I make jingles, guys. <laughs> Doubler. Two vocals. Get rid of the one in the middle. Boost one's out the side. Let's have a wee lesson. Where did you go? I should know, but it's cold and I don't wanna be lonely. So show me the way home. Home. I can't lose another life. Ooh, beautiful. Girl. Cool. I'm happy enough. It's not great, but it's not bad. <laughs> 93 Wakers, am I right, guys? <laughs> Very nice, James. Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'll do that. Ah, James. Life and soul of the party as always, huh? That's what they say. That's what they say. Ah, James. God damn it. <laughs> Played me for a fool. Uh, <laughs> uh, James, did you see the video? I actually added, I left in lots of your JB. J J J oh, and the hold on, J Justin Bieber, J Beebs. Justin Bieber remakes. I left in a load of the like Dustin Beaver and uh, what were the other names you were saying and I just said them out loud <laughs> and they stayed in that was very very humorous for me at least I'm waiting for the moment you say here we go oh okay let me let me do that let me do that right now if you enjoyed this video feel free to hit the like subscribe and bell notification button so you can see more videos like this and if you want to watch me make these live and ask me questions about anything musical follow me over on Twitch that's the place to go links down below alright but we have a listen to it are to be rude not to should it be rude not to <laughs> here we go where did you go? I should know, but it's cold and I don't wanna be lonely, so show me the way home. I can't lose another life. Ah, Billy and Phineas making my job difficult. Thank you, guys. Thanks. <laughs>